We're off on another adventure this morning and we are off to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Yay! And why, you might ask, why are we going to Portsmouth, New Hampshire? The main reason, we've never been there. Have we? Never. <laughs> no, we haven't. But we know we're going to find some great things there. So come along and we'll discover the five best things about Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Number one is Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club. This is the exterior of the club. It's in a building that's amazing. It had been abandoned since 1950, underwent extensive renovations, and the new proprietor, Suzanne, uh, is has put together a, a world-class lineup of acts. The, last night they just had their 100th show with Anat Cohen and her quartet. Lee Rittenauer is coming, all kinds of great uh, acts coming up. So this would be the number one place to do and see Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club. And Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club is at 135 Congress here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Don't miss it. The number two best place to visit in Portsmouth is Café Von Solen Coffee House. This place has the most wonderful breakfast and lunch sandwiches. Their coffee is to die for. It's a wonderful atmosphere in there. There's lots of room to have a group if you like. And anyway, it's just that people are very nice and this is the place to be. The number three top place to visit in Portsmouth, New Hampshire is the Portsmouth Brewery. We're here enjoying a Black Cat Stout. Let's check that out. The lovely Tanya's got some Black Cat Stout. Looks uh, very stouty and chocolatey and, and frost, frothy, all that sort of thing. And you can see here at the, at the brewery, this is the happening place to be. A lot of folks here enjoying a Saturday afternoon. We've got sports on the TV and a full bar. What could be better? One of the cool things about being in Portsmouth, New Hampshire is you just walk across Memorial Bridge and we're in Maine. And Tanya, the mm -hmm. sign over here says that we are in Kittery, Maine. Oldest town in Maine. Oldest town in Maine. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And there's lots of boats around here and uh, Maine uh, license plates with lobsters on them. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a different country. It's amazing. And the number five top thing to do when in Portsmouth, New Hampshire is Market Square. We're in Market Square. This is sort of the heart of everything. There's an old church here. There's lots of uh, restaurants and shops and that sort of thing. And down the way, I see the Piscataqua Savings Bank. Piscataqua. Well said. I, you know, it, we may have to open an account offshore. We're getting ready to leave Portsmouth 
and head to Boston. The reason we came to Portsmouth, New Hampshire in the first place, besides the fact that we had never been here before, was to go to a concert at Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club to see our friend Anat Cowan, who is a world-renowned clarinet player and her quartet. We saw her and got to visit with her and have breakfast and so forth. And then the next night, we listened to a wonderful quintet led by Matthew Whitaker, who is this fantastic young 21-year-old keyboardist from New York. It wasn't easy to get here to Portsmouth from Knoxville, Tennessee, as you might imagine. You know, we had to take a plane from Knoxville to Washington, D.C., to Boston, then take a bus from the Boston Logan Airport to the Portsmouth Transit Station, then an Uber to get here actually to uh, Portsmouth itself. Today's gonna be a little bit easier. We're taking a Greyhound bus from uh, Portsmouth to Boston South Station, and uh, the, the Hound should be here shortly, and. Tiny and I will be on our way.